So it's incredibly cold out here. That's the first thing I want to tell you, but I was in such a hurry to introduce this cooker to you. This is the SNS Grills Travel Kettle. And I want to present this thing to you and go over all the features coming up right now. So first off, it's a little windy out here today and it's only gonna get windier. And uh, this is the only day that I had to film this week. So I just wanna apologize in advance if I have any audio issues. I'm gonna do my best to get through this and I have my back towards the wind, my mic's here. So hopefully we're gonna get through this well. Now, to start with, I wanna let you know, I wanna disclose that SNS Grills is a sort of a partner of mine because I create content for them at the time of this video and I hope forever. My relationship with them started a few years ago when I began to film some videos for their channel. David, the owner, reached out to me and it's been a wonderful friendship, a wonderful partnership. It's changed my life in many ways and I'm very grateful for that. Now all that said, this is not a sponsored video. This is going on my channel and I wanted to use this opportunity to present this to you so that you can get some information on it if you're interested in a good travel cooker. But this, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know if there's a better one out there, but we'll go over all that. Anyway, not a sponsored video, wanna disclose that to you. This was sent to me because I'm gonna be using it to create content for the SNS Girls channel. In fact, uh, my first video shoot is coming up in just a few days, so stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for lots of cooks on this cooker on their channel. And I'm gonna put a link, an iCard up here to the SNS Grills channel just so you can check that out. And uh, maybe a link down in the description too. All right, all that out of the way, let's get into some of the features of this. Now, the biggest thing is because it's a travel kettle, people wanna know how portable it is. And I, you know what, I'm gonna use my cheater notes here because I'm gonna give you these specs right off of their website. Total height, 21 inches with 20 and a quarter inches. Weight, 17.8 pounds. The cooking grate is 18 inches, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, this is a, a porcelain enamel. It's in the traditional SNS gray color. And uh, yeah, that's really about all the pertinent stuff. I mean, shipping dimensions, 21 by 21 by 10. I mean, you know, whatever. You don't need to know all that stuff. But let me go through what this cooker has to offer because this is literally just like a miniature slow and sear kettle and I fell in love with it from the moment I unboxed it. Uh, and let me get to that. Now, I don't really do assembly videos because I'm just not the best putter together of things, but uh, this one went together very, very well. There was only one part where you have to get a nut behind uh, this little spot underneath to put the legs on, and because I have fat fingers, I had a hard time with that. But outside of that, everything was accurate, everything was clear, and it went together very well. The quality of this, the thickness of the metal, and everything about it is beyond impressive. So, you know, I'm looking forward to using this. I'm looking forward to using this not only uh, to create content for their channel, but for vacations or maybe small cooks here at home, who knows, uh, looking forward to it. So let me start with the top here. Let's start with the lid. So we have a thermometer here on the lid and this, I'll be honest, has been very, very accurate for me on the slow and sear kettle and on the Kamado. So these thermometers, you can really rely on them. And I can verify that because I use the SNS 500 remote thermometer when I do cooks for SNS grills. And that reading and this reading are always very, very close. And since one's at great height and one's at lid height, it definitely makes sense that there's a slight variation. But overall, they're typically within 20 to 30 degrees, sometimes a lot closer than that. Now this top vent you can use because of this here without burning your hands when you wanna open and close the vents. So that's something that, you know, even on a small cooker like this, they thought of. So I love that because it definitely saves your hands from getting burnt. I know on my Weber, uh, which I probably could have just modded it a long time ago and I didn't, but I usually just kind of take my finger and tap it a bit. I never want to touch it because I don't want to burn my hands. But here on this slow and sear travel kettle, they even put in that same thought, that same quality into this miniature travel version. So that's huge. Uh, this handle, very sturdy, and you have a heat shield here with the nice SNS Girls logo on it. Uh, the weight of this lid is really impressive to me for a small kettle. I mean, this is, when you feel any part of this cooker, uh, the word cheap just doesn't come to mind. Now we also have a lid bale back here 
I'll throw some B-roll of that, that your lid will just fit into here for when you want to check on food. And it's very sturdy. This sits in there quite nicely. Uh, this grate, this is the 18 inch easy spin grate, which is something that SNS Grills made even before they started making grills. So again, 304 stainless steel, this is 18 inches and it does spin. So if you wanted to do cooks like the cold grate reverse sear, you can do that with this grate and I'm sure I'm gonna be doing it and I'll be looking forward to that too. This is also hinged, so it's easy to add coal while you're cooking. Now let me get this grate out of here and show you what else is under the hood. So here inside of mine, I have the charcoal basket. It's just basically a miniature slow and sear and I have a miniature drip pan which I'll tell you I love this because it really helps to keep the cooker clean inside when you're using it. It's important to note that you can get this cooker in a couple different flavors. You can buy it just like the kettle version, which would not have the charcoal basket. That version right now at the time of making this video, I believe is 159. If you want the charcoal basket, I think it's 179. So again, prices change, uh, but I usually as much as I try to avoid putting price in these review videos, um, you know, people complain about it all the time. The thing is, is if I make a video and it's three years old, pricing can be different. I mean, there's examples of that in all my review videos. But at the time of this video, uh, which is really close to the launch of this cooker, only about 30 days out, uh, this is 179 with the charcoal basket, 159 without the charcoal basket. And if you want the optional mini drip pan, it adds 39 bucks. Now let me remove these pieces here. Now underneath those components, we have a porcelain coated charcoal grate. And for other travel kettles that you might see on the market, they have a much smaller charcoal grate. So what this does is this gives you the ability to use more charcoal and cook for longer periods of time because you have more area and space for charcoal. And again, if I haven't mentioned, it is porcelain coated. Now let's get to the underneath of that. Now underneath that, we have our lower vent controls. And there's two ways that you can control your temperatures, especially on low and slows with this particular cooker. So the large version of this, the full size slow and sear kettle has what we call the smoke hole. And SNS Grills decided to install that same option here in this small travel kettle. This was originally designed to be used with like automatic temperature controllers. Uh, but it's really, really been a great feature to use as a lower vent for low and slow cooks. I mean, you can really dial in temperatures, and I know that for a fact because I do it on the full-size slow and sear kettle. So keeping your actual lower vent down here closed all the way, like it is right now, and just using the smoke hole as your lower vent, that's just really, really an outstanding way to control temperatures on low and slow cooks. Another huge feature, which is really, really good for monitoring temperatures, is the Pro Port. The full size slow and sear kettle has one, and this smaller version has one as well. Now the actual lower vent can be controlled with this handle here, and that also doubles as an easy way to clean out ash, because as you spin that, it'll push that ash down in through those holes into this ash catching pan right down here. So you can see there was no expense spared on this miniature version of the full size slow and sear kettle. So for the size of this cooker, there was no quality sacrificed. It's heavy enough to feel very well constructed and very broad shouldered, but it's light enough that you'd feel good carrying this or transporting it anywhere, tailgating, vacations, camping, whatever it might be. I'm really excited to use this thing in upcoming videos on the SNS Grills channel and probably some here on mine. And if you're interested in this cooker, I'm gonna leave a link down below. It is gonna be an affiliate link, so it does help the channel if you purchase using that link. And you can check out all the SNS Grills products and different equipment. I have yet to be disappointed by any of it, and that's why I wanted to bring this to you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you very much, as always, for hanging out with me. And somewhere, somebody's got cops and ambulances going on behind me, but anyway, Take care until next time. I'll see you on the next episode. Whew, man, is it cold out here.